Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Octo's here, and yeah, the Year Seven um, Season One uh, release date should be in March the eighth or March the seventh, and yeah. So for new stuff for Year Seven that wasn't mentioned uh, in the reveal, we'll be getting a different recoil patterns for console. So yeah, PC and console recoil patterns won't be linked anymore, and there's going to be new unique guns in Year Seven. So imagine guns sort of like Thorns gun, or the PFO nine, or the UZK, or the like uh, Finkus gun, sort of guns like that. So unique guns, so sort of similar to like um, actual guns, but like different basically, just different characteristics and different stats, and yeah. So yeah, the shooting range will feature a target zone, and you can change the range for the target and a dummy zone. So sort of like Valorant shooting range if you guys have played that. And yeah, the free Kickstart and the free Charm will be there, and the Emerald Plains map should be coming in the mid-season reinforcements. So apparently that's what it said. So yeah, in my opinion, the Year Seven roadmap was okay. I mean, it's way better than last year. Don't tell me. Don't, like, don't get me wrong, but I feel like. Year 7 Season 4 doesn't even say anything about the maps or anything, so I'm a bit confused. So hopefully we can get at least a couple of map reworks. And the R6 share weapon skins coming for Year 7 Season 2 are Virtus Pro, Ints, Pittsburgh Knights, Empire, Talon, Cyclops, Oxygen, Furia, Elevate, W7M, Fave, Exit, and Corner Gaming. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, so as you guys saw, what do you guys think of Year 7? I think this should be better than last year. We've got... Four, four pretty good countries. We've got, I wish instead of Belgium, we've got like a sort of a Swedish operator. We don't think we have a Swedish operator or maybe a Swiss operator. We've been given us a New Zealand operator. That'd be cool. I don't know why we had to go back to Japan again, but yeah. We've got a Belgium operator, which we didn't get uh, before. And we've got a Singapore operator. I think more operators from the Middle East, maybe Dubai, UAE. And yeah, so an operator from Singapore would be pretty cool. And we've got an operator from Colombia. So I think the last um, operator from South America was Goyo, maybe? I could be wrong. Goyo or Maru. They were the last two operators from South America. And we were getting a new TDM map in Year 7 Season 2, which is in Greece. So a Greek map. I wish we had a proper map, but yeah. So two new competitive maps this season. And we'll be in an arcade game mode, like Polis the Source. So I don't think this is the end of the world. I think this is a lot better than what we hoped for. But sadly, cross-progression is getting um, postponed, which kind of sucks. And this new reputation system, I mean, they announced it two years ago and nothing's still happened yet, so that kind of sucks in my opinion. And we're getting a new sense season two, so early reverse friendly fire. But I, do, but I must say, the shooting range does look cool. And I must say, the year seven uh, ranked um, 2.0 looks pretty cool. It's something like 100 points between each rank, and there's a diamond five. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, they do really need to re the rank system, so this should be a good way to change that, in my opinion. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. What do you guys think of the new season? I'm just trying to see if there's anything else. So yeah, we'll be getting a Thatcher uh, rework. So it takes actual skill to, skill to use this gadget. And we'll be getting a EMP gadget um, as a secondary. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It means that with the attacker lineups less and more diversified, you don't have to bring the same operators like Thatcher, Thermite, Twitch, etc. So yeah, more secondary gadgets which are diversified for the game in my opinion.